Um, my name is Mateo Durant. I play running back at Duke University, and I'm on I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks. Chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, St. You. The number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike are taking over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get down or lay down. Lay down. Holds Durant to no gain, or a loss of one, rather, bringing up second and 11. Holmberg quickly to Durant, has space and some blocks. This time. Durant comes off the tackle. There goes the tail of Durant. Duke answers. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Ezekiel Elliott is his favorite player. A little bit of shines of vintage Zeke right here. Getting through the hole. Keeping his feet moving. Get into the end zone, young man. Here's that tempo. There's the tail. Durant ball over. And just like that. Holmberg out of the shotgun. Give it to Durant. And he gets in. Touchdown, Dude. Let's go down to Bridget. Bridget. Yeah, Gunner's mom, you just talked about, we told you earlier those tough times. I'll let you take this one, Matt. Might have been too far outside. A lot of contact, though. So third and eight, quick throw to the outside to Mateo. Makes a couple of men miss, and he's going to move the chain for a first down ring on the tackle. That he didn't use because he went right to the pros from high school. He's now in the golf team at North Carolina A&T as Mateo Durant pushes forward for the first down. Get had Luka blocked and got Richardson, the middle linebacker, blocked, and all of a sudden you're in the secondary if you're Durant, and you see the great speed. He shoves it in the end zone. Losing the ball at will. And three of eight on third down. This one down to the goal line, and caught for the touchdown. Mateo Durant hauls it in the end zone. How about the one-handed catch up close by Durant? Uh, so, Mateo, uh, born in Plum Branch, South Carolina. Uh, tell us a little bit about childhood and uh, when did you start playing football? Uh, childhood was really fun, you know, growing up around family. Small town of about, you know, 87 people, which people don't really know or realize how small the town is. And when I tell them, they never really think it's true. Um, I started playing football. My first game was all right. I was like nine years old. And I've always been a football fan growing up. Uh, I lived around the Georgia, South Carolina border. So, you know, football in the South is huge. And just growing up, I always uh, always was just rooted in football. You know, uh, a lot of my cousins played football, uh, really good football family. And, you know, that's how my love of the game has grown. Okay. Do you play any other sports growing up? Yes, sir. Uh, I played basketball, ran track. I uh, thought about baseball, but I couldn't do it just because the ball, I was just afraid of the ball. Ball coming too fast at me, so I wasn't ready. That's for sure. I, I mean, I play a little bit of beer league softball and stuff, and I got to go hang out in the outfield because I don't want to be standing in the infield where that ball is coming at me while I'm not paying That's attention. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> put, put, me uh, as, put me as far away as you can from the ball. Exactly. Uh, any nicknames, and what's your favorite jersey number and why? Is it number 21? Uh, you see, I... Initially, you see, uh, I started off wearing number 11 when I was younger, and then it went from two because I loved Cam Noon, and then it, after that, it went to three, and then like when I was an all-star, when I played all-star football, uh, my number was number nine because I was a big Cowboys fan, you know, Tony Romo, one of the biggest Cowboys, you know, I had to get the number, but now, you know, uh, one and three coming to college, couldn't get it, so, you know, 
I got 21. Two plus one is three, so, you know, it figured itself out. There you go. Right on. I like it. I like it. 21 looks good on a running back jersey, too, I feel. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That three, that, the three is going to look smooth, too, but I just couldn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks good on Zeke, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. And what's the uh, one thing you're trying to accomplish this season? Uh, You know, I just want to win as many games as we can, you know, coming here. You know, the, the goal is to win, get better as a person, also as a player and develop. But I want to win the ACC championship. I want to compete for a national championship like anyone else. So right now, you know, it's early in the season. Our goals are, are still ahead of us, and that's what we want to accomplish. Good. Uh, who would you say you mirror your game after or try and play like? I don't I – don't, I don't know. My game is, like, very unique, I would say, you know. Uh, I would like to be, you know, an all-around back, you know, uh, one who can pass block, catch, catch the ball at the backfield and lay the run between the tackles. So, I don't really think I uh, mirror my game after anyone. I just feel like my running style and my body type is very unique for the position. Yeah, I see a little bit of Nick Chubb in you. Oh, you know, growing up right there, you know, we, my family were UGA fans, so – I definitely see that. Okay. 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 And, um, uh, great. Go ahead, Ray. Is there one aspect of your game that you're trying to improve on? Uh, just my, con- you know, conditioning, being able to play every down as hard as I can, you know, whenever the team needs me to be in. Just, just conditioning, I feel like as a football player, you know, I think we pride ourselves on being able to go first, second, first quarter is hard we first set first, like we did third, all that. So being able to play four complete quarters as conditioned as possible and at the best shape of my life. That's, good. That's definitely good. Uh, great junior season and uh, MVP of the team in 2020 and now on an absolute tear to start the season. Uh, six touchdowns and leading the NCAA, 296 rushing yards in two games. Uh, what do you think the differences were in your game from last year to this year? And uh, what did you improve the most? I think uh, I would say one thing, you know, now uh, being the lead guy, one of the leadoff guys, I feel like it's giving me more opportunities to run the ball. <laughs> and it's also helped me be more effective. And uh, what, what's the other question that you asked? Just uh, like what, what, what do you think you changed from last year to this year uh, just, to put up bigger numbers? Uh, I don't know. It's just like, you know, just being out there, it's just, just having the opportunity to play the game that I love, knowing that it's my senior year and knowing that, you know, this may be the last year that I'm able to play like college football. So, you know, I just want to go out there and compete to the best of my ability and give my teammates everything that I have in me and not just, you know, leave anything, not leave everything on the field and just give them everything that I have. Okay. And what's one strength that makes you a good athlete? Uh. Oh, yeah. I talk, I talk about this all the time. I feel like my greatest strength is just uh, my confidence, you know. Having that confidence to do whatever you – do whatever you think you do on the field. It makes you do, like – make you do things that are unconscious to you. Just being on the field, it just feels like you're blacked out, you're in your zone, and no one can stop you. That's one thing that I feel like a lot of, a lot of top flight athletes have. Is just that that high confidence level, which makes them some of the greatest. Okay. Uh, do you have any pregame routines or rituals? Uh, I would say I do. I listen to the same two songs all day. Uh, sleep on the same. Come in the hotel room. Sleep on the same side of the room as I do before every game. Uh, go out. Throw the ball around with the same teammate I have been since I've been here. I just feel like more than it being a ritual or something, it just just has become like important to me to do that and just appreciate the small things that I've had to do like throughout my whole career. Absolutely. And what are the two songs? We're, we're big music guys too. Uh, one is uh, "I Love You" by uh, Surf Mesa, and the other one is "Weak" by SWV. It's kind of yeah. like SWV is kind of like really old. If you yeah, know. 90s. That's some 90s yeah. R&B. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I like to listen to those songs, you know, give me in like a calming mood and stuff like that. Well, tonight okay, they got okay. that Versus going on tonight, too. I forgot. You know what that is, right? Oh, yeah. I know what the Versus is. Yeah. yeah tonight is Fat Joe and Jaw Rule. 
Oh, it is. <laughs> and, <laughs> it should and, be a good one. Yeah, and 50, oh, yeah. 50 Cent is supposed to show up there to uh, bully Jaw. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take me back to uh, your first NCAA touchdown and also uh, the 64-yarder you busted out against Florida State in 2020. Oh, uh, first NCAA touchdown against North Carolina a and uh, I was so excited. You know, the play I – don't, I don't even remember the play was designed to go to me because we talked about it. It was like, you know, we've never scored, like, on one of those type of routes or whatever. So, it was just fun to go out there, you know, get the ball in my hands, score a touchdown, hold families in the crowd, and just get in the end zone like, celebrate. Like, you know, I'm not a real – big guy like celebrating after touchdowns or whatever but like the excitement I had during that point knowing that you know it was going to be the beginning of like something very special I took pride in that and also that Florida uh, the Florida State touchdown uh it was just I'm glad I got that touchdown at that moment it helped spark the team a little um you know I just seen the hole hit it had the all running man. I thought he had an angle on me, but luckily, you know, had enough speed to get around him. What are some of your hobbies outside of sports? Oh, uh, I like to hang out with my friends a lot. When I'm back home, uh, I like to go fishing. You know, I'm a country boy, so yeah. fishing is fun. I used to ride dirt bikes a lot, but my mom took those away when I was in high school because she was like, they're not safe or whatever. Don't, uh, want, you get, <laughs> don't want you getting injured and shit. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. Uh, love watching movies and uh, playing games and stuff. Okay. Uh, if you had, if we, if you had a dinner party and you could invite three famous guests, dead or alive, who would you invite? Uh, I'm inviting LeBron because he's my favorite player. Dave Chappelle. Sweet. It's a good one. Dave Chappelle, funny. Uh, mm, one more, one more. I'm a. Ooh, I don't even know. I'm like, oh, one more if I had to say something. I'll say Ezekiel Elliott just because okay. – uh, no, no, Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Okay, okay. I like Jack it. I like Cam. it. Cam my favorite football player. Of all you, think time. He, you think he ends up in Washington here now with this Patrick injury? I hope he I hope he ends up in Dallas. Oh, yeah. I hope yeah, he ends up in Dallas. Okay, okay. okay. You, uh, you, I'm guessing you don't have the, the dress code like him, though, eh? Nah. <laughs> That's different. He different. Uh, what's your favorite road stadium you've played in so far? In your favorite career? road stadium? It, I would say my favorite and most lively is definitely uh, Virginia Tech. Okay. Virginia Tech and UNC my sophomore year. Those, okay. Okay. those two environments were the craziest I've ever been. And what's your dream stadium to play in? Uh... Every NFL day. <laughs> yeah. for, a long, for a long time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Did uh, did you get lucky enough to play in the Raiders stadium last year? I know a couple other guys in the NCAA. Uh, you said Raiders? Yeah. In Vegas. Nah, we uh, the only NFL I've played in the Pittsburgh Steelers stadium, okay. uh, the Miami Dolphins stadium, and uh, I. Think, I think that's it. Those are only two I've played in. Okay. Okay. And do uh, you have a favorite sports movie? Favorite sports movie? Uh, oh, the I think it's The Comebacks. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. You know about, the crazy yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, The Comebacks and uh, Waterboy. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Good oh. choice. Good choice. Yeah. Uh, you're the... You are the first uh, ACC player to rush for three touchdowns in consecutive games since uh, Clemson's Travis Etienne in 2018. Uh, what's it like uh, having your name up there with someone such an elite at- athlete? Uh, I think other than me personally, it just goes and showing how well our offensive line is blocked. You know, uh, we have a lot of depth in the offensive line, a lot of guys we can rotate in and out, a lot of experience. And it just goes to show uh, how much trust that the coaches put on me to uh, make those plays, those pivotal moments in time. What uh, What are you majoring in? I'm uh, majoring in psychology, minoring in uh, sociology and culture anthropology. Okay, okay. You got any hidden talents? 
Hidden talent. Uh, nah, man. I don't think I got any hidden talents. I can do West Side with my toes with no hands. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. Uh, you don't want. Yeah, you don't want to see it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there was a karaoke contest, or I know a lot of teams do like a rookie initiation, and you got to sing one song. What are you singing? Uh. Let me think. I'll sing. Uh, oh, that's hard. That's a hard one you can do it. That's the one you got to think about. I'll probably sing something like, uh, have you ever heard of Juice World? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll sing uh, Lucid Dreams because that's the song I sung uh, for like, you know, like you said, our freshman this year's name. Okay, okay. If that ever comes up again, make sure you choose tequila. It's got one word. <laughs> I got you. Mm. Uh, if you were an animal, what'd you be? Uh, I'm I'm kind of in between a lion and a house dog. Okay, okay. But definitely not a house dog. I'm just gonna be a lion. Gotta be the top king, of the food chain. Gotta king, be the top. King, king of the jungle. King of the jungle. King of the jungle. Right. Gotta get the top. And well, every time we ask this question, I always say that I look like a dolphin. So I, I always choose. I always choose a dolphin. I got no hair. Man, anymore. you can't stop looking at me like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you could play any other sport professionally, what would it be? Any other sport professionally. I wouldn't, I'm not going to say basketball because everyone says basketball. I would definitely, if I started early, I would definitely try swimming. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I always choose wrestling for that. I'd love to be a WWE wrestler or AEW. Or, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's what do you, uh, what, what is one important lesson you've learned from uh, your time so far being a college athlete? Uh, it's the difference of like I thought I thought about this like a while ago. The difference between waiting and being patient. Like a lot of people that wait, they're just there, you know, waiting their time to come. They're not really doing much; they're just literally waiting for the opportunity to come. But being patient is just you know preparing yourself physically, mentally for the opportunity to present yourself. And it's going in and taking the time just to understand that you know not everything is going to come easy to you. So patience is key, especially being a college athlete. And coming in that first year being a freshman. And what do you think a good coach? What do you think a good coach needs to bring to the table? Uh, just being there for his players. And, like, I have phenomenal coaches, you know. These are some of the best coaches I've ever had. They're always there for us. They make sure we're disciplined, conditioning. Uh, and they drop, like, a lot of knowledge on us about the game and outside of the game, which is something that's very important. And uh, if a GM or a scout were to ask, uh, what do you, what, how would you describe your game or your playing style? Uh, I would say it's unique, it's different. You know, uh, I'm a downhill back. I'm elusive enough to make you miss. Got a lot of speed to outrun the defense. And uh, overall, I'm just a, a well put together back who can make a lot of plays in different, um, in different aspects of the game. Yeah, you got some good hands, too, for a running back. That's for sure. Hey, the, hey every, every year I've tried to improve on, you know, catching the ball in the backfield. And, you know, uh, the good, good thing is that, you know, that the work I've done is showing up in this evening. And what's the best piece of advice you've gotten recently from one of your coaches? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. It, could be, it could be any coach. Oh, any coach, uh, one of my coaches. Uh, just effort, you know. Effort is the main thing that makes players great. If you don't show effort, you really won't get nothing out of it. Like I said, you know, you get in what you, you – get, you get out what you put in. So that's yeah. one thing, you know, that my coaches have talked to me about. Okay. Hey, Mateo, I, I just want to thank you very much uh, for taking the time for us today and coming on and chat with us. Uh, we're big fans of you, obviously, and uh, – we can't wait to see you strive in your career. You got fans in us for life. That's yes, true. sir. Thank you. Hey, anytime y'all want me on, just let me know. 
Yeah, we do all the time. Like I, you know, especially when you're playing on my fantasy roster in a couple of years, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm definitely gonna need the inside scoops. To... Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, sent you.